I'm just going to give it a good lash in a paint all over. go that's given that a really good I'm not bothered about it having bits in between that you can see you know with the colouring not bothered about that at all not bothered about the edges I'll just tart that up a little bit yes I did say tart it up I uh, use that word quite a lot in my crafts somebody once said oh you should be more professional Fiona why I'm a professional crafter, no doubt about that. But why should I be more professional? Say it as it is. And show mistakes and whatever. It's not fun. It's too rigid watching somebody who's going, now do this and then we put this into that and then we do that. What a cock of... Cock of bull, I was going to say. What a crock of bull. <laughs> Nope, sorry, my channel is popular because I am who I am, because I do what I do, <laughs> if that makes sense. There we go. I'm going to leave that like that for now, but I'm going to take a sponge. Now, remember, my gun is on its way out. It's burning itself out. Hopefully, it will help me today, but probably not. Now, we shall see. I'm just doing a touch of white paint. Oh, I like that. Yep. Yep, like that. Look at that. We've got thunder, would you believe it? I like that. Now what I'm going to do is just try and put a little bit extra in the corner sections. I just want it a little bit thicker and whiter. Yeah, love it. Just, just like that. I don't want to do anything else with it whatsoever. Now, hopefully, I can dry that off without burning myself or blowing myself up. I'm going to try anyway. It's uh, My gun is terribly out of the way. Uh, Just look at that effect it had straight away, putting a little bit of white on it. Oh, don't do that. Come on. Keep up. Keep up. No, it's burning out. Oh, I don't know what to do. Let me leave that to cool down a little bit. But uh, 
never mind we can work with what we've got but we'll see I like those actually so what I've got is some um, we'll just put that to one side some leaves now you really that will do they've got to be flat I don't want them you know they're all right and we'll do about four different ones you know four lots um, and see how we get on now uh, so with these they're just them synthet uh, synthetic ones and you don't have to keep them like that so what I'm going to do is we're going to alter them um, and I think what I might do I might use <coughs> this for texture so let's get a brush um, no we'll use a knife I think I'm gonna put some of this it's the crackle artist spackle um, and put some of this on just uh, to be different to be honest And hopefully, what I'm going to do next, oops, come on, fasten on, will work. Um, and I do have, or well, I'm going to use the uh, knife. Just to put some texture in them. We start from the middle and slice down into the paste. It really does make them different. Yeah, love them. And uh, we don't waste that. That goes back in the pot. Oh, that would do at least one more leaf. Right. They won't take long to dry. Um, I'm not going to force the issue of drying them with the uh, gun because it's not working, unfortunately. Um. I don't know whether to take that risk. I'll probably blow my hand off. And I don't want to do that, do I? So, we don't need those anymore. So, I'm just going to pop these back. But then I've got the butterflies. Let's just move these out the way. But they won't take long to dry. Now, what I've got is I've got these butterflies. Two of, of these. They're like magnetic as well. Yeah, move that to one side. I think we can get that out. I don't need them on. Although I could do that, maybe. We'll see. I'll leave it on for now. Now I'm just going to open the wings up because they double like that. Yeah, open the wings up. Um, I was going to try something. I do like that, and I know you're going to say, oh, don't destroy that beautiful butterfly. Well, I'm not destroying it as such, am I? I want to reuse it. So that's that one, and I'm going to do the same again with the other one. And that's just to take the whole butterfly section apart. So 
So it's going to end up with like three layers like that. Isn't that beautiful? But what we've got to do first, we do have to paint these. So I'm just going to uh, get another piece of my material that I use, which is just uh, a baking mat. That's all it is, is a baking mat. It does the same job as all the other sheets. And you don't have to pay a fortune for this. I just cut pieces off as I need it, to be honest. That's all I do now. Okay, so. Here's the wings. Like that. That pair and that pair. No, that's that one and that one. You can see that. Right, I just now need to get a brush. Uh, let's find the right one. Mm -hmm. Now, let me see. Maybe this one will work. And um, what I'm going to do is to use the dark brown to paint the butterflies So don't be afraid if you've anything like these, whether they're paper, material, or anything, don't be afraid to alter them. Just delve in and paint them. So, sorry about that, I was just going to pop these out of the way, scrape up all that paint, don't waste it, put it back in the pot. Right, I'm just going to take um, a wipe. to one side now we've got these and yes I do want to alter them um, and what I'm going to do is paint these I think I'm going to paint them the same and then we'll see where we can take it from there The texture on them is fantastic, and I've not quite finished with them. Um, I'm just going to uh, finish off with the butterflies. Now, what I've done is I've taken these. These are the Petlu butterflies. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make these because they are quite simple. Um, but I've just taken one of those and put them in each of the metal ones that I've got. And then I did use the sponge that I remember I was using to do the background. I just wipe that around on the butterflies to give them a little bit of, you know, two-tone look. Uh, and then what I've done is I've glued on some diamante, multicoloured diamante. Now what we've got to do is to do the wings. So I'm just going to... Oh, might need a bit more glue to do that. I've just... Ray's just been down and bought me a, another... Well, I've bought it, but he went down and picked it up for me because I'm desperate. The other one, it did eventually just die. 
unfortunately. Um, so all I'm going to do is just get some glue sticks at the moment. I do need them. Um, and like I say, we'll just go back to this one. I was uh, pop some glue on it, and then we're just going to pop that onto the magnetic section of that, like that. Pop the other one on as well. Even them up. Put them where I want them. Let that dry. Yeah, just let that dry. And we're going to do the same with this as well. Just going to take hold of the wings. Now they're dry as well. Sort these out so they're where we want them. That's fine. Just let just let them dry. That's fine. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to pop them onto our. I'm not sure where we're going to have them because I do want some lettering on here as well. I think. One should go there. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to pop that one on there. So I do want to be able to see the leaves. And then this one is going to go there yeah love them they've turned out really pretty love the bling and everything that's with them that's on them um and then i'm just going to get some wording that's going to go on there as well they really do look pretty and i like the nice leafy background Um, and what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit more exciting, <coughs> is add some flowers, little pearly ones, one there, and I absolutely love the, it looks like natured background, if you know what I mean, with a bamboo type background. So all I'm going to do is just to go around the edge Just gonna whiten only because I think it needs. See the dots here, these are little little tiny um beads, flat back beads. And I just think they need to be highlighted. That's why I tried to put them this side of the wing that we're being attached to. It just pops the butterflies. And 
There you go. That's all it needs. A very simple tag with a beautiful background. So I hope you can see that. Naturally beautiful, breathtaking, which they can be. And I think it's magical that it can change from a caterpillar to a butterfly in the first place. So thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.